Though journal articles can be intimidating, knowing how they are organized will help you understand them. So in this video, we explain the parts of a research article. Understanding a scholarly peer review article can seem daunting at first. After all, they are written by experts for other scholars and experts in that field. Many peer-reviewed articles are explaining a research study that was conducted to contribute new information to the field of study. In order to make sense of these articles, it might help to break them down and understand the parts of a research study. Scientific studies are usually made up of these most common sections. Abstract, introduction, methods, results, discussion, and work cited. The abstract is a short summary of the article, including an explanation of what was studied and why. Oh, so reading this little part right here can help me understand what this long article is about without having to read the whole thing. Cool! The introduction gives some background on the topic, states the problem being studied, and gives the author's hypothesis. This section may also contain a literature review, or the literature review might also be a separate section of the article. A literature review is where other relevant studies on the subject are summarized and evaluated. Okay, this section makes sense to me and I think I can get some good information for my paper. The methods section explains exactly how the experiment or study was conducted in such a way that someone could easily repeat it. This section should list who participated in the study, what materials were used, and the procedure followed in conducting the experiment or study. Hmm, what does this all mean? Participants? Procedures? Participants refers to the people who participated in the study, like college students or soccer players or any defined group. The materials refers to any equipment used in the study, like a questionnaire, and the procedure is how the materials were applied to the participants, so this section describes the steps taken in the data collection process. The results section presents the data collected from the experiment or study. I don't get this section at all. What a snooze fest. Don't despair, the results section will be heavy on tables and graphs and hard to understand unless you are a scholar in that field of study. If it is too hard to read, don't focus too much on the results section. The discussion section, or it might also be called the conclusion, will summarize the meaning of the results, connect the results to any previous research, describe any weaknesses or inconsistencies of the study, and suggest possible future research. Whoa! I think I can understand a lot of this section. This has some great stuff for my paper. So really, if I read the introduction and then the discussion sections, I can get a good idea of what the article is about, and then maybe I'll be better able to understand the methods and results sections. Man, what a relief! I've got to get this paper done, and now I've got a peer review source I can actually read and understand. Great, now you know all about the parts of a research article, but there is one last section that is helpful to know about. The Works Cited or Reference section lists all the articles, books, and other sources referred to in the study. This is important for knowing where the author's information came from. Be sure to use the reference list to find other articles or sources that relate to your topic. You can look up any of the titles in a reference list and use that as another source for your paper. It's an easy way to find other sources. Now you've learned about all the parts of a scholarly peer-reviewed research article, the abstract, introduction, methods, results, discussion, and reference or works cited list. Happy reading!